thing I want to look at in this exercise is the very fine work of removing the background from an image. Now let's have a look here to start with at some of the images I have open. There's that one there and you can see that that is not the moon in there. Let's have a look at the at the mask in the in the um, layers. Now you can see there that the I've actually put an image of the earth in there. Let's take that out. There's the original moon, which is, this is the original image. You can see it sitting there as, as the background and nothing's been changed. But what I've done is take the moon and replace it with the earth. And you can see in the background down here, you can see there's landscape, there's night sky, and there's a sailing ship. Now what I wanted to do was replace the sailing, the sky behind the sailing ship with a different sky. Now I don't have it here in this image. There's the image of the moon. I simply cut that out from a NASA image actually. Now here's the, here's a working copy so I can see what I'm doing with the image. You can see I've put a different, a science fiction sky in the background. Let's have a look at that. I'll cut everything else out. There's the sky in the background and that's the only piece I want. But there's the ship. Oops, there's a pixel screen sitting in there. Now there's the background and the ship, but it's still got sky around it. So that doesn't look quite right, does it? And we should have the image of the earth slightly shaded there. So the giving the impression that this sailing ship is actually far off in space and time. And there's the earth a long way behind it. It's me. I've got to get rid of all that sky that's in there behind the sails. And you can see that, the blue. Because what I want, and I may actually get rid of the landscape that's in there, but that's all on this one photo, this one image that I have here. Now, just let me shrink that down a bit so it all fits in. You can see... There's the land behind it. That's transparent. And I've been working on removing the sky. Now, because there's actually a couple of hours work here in removing that sky, I just want to show you the only way I've discovered how to remove the sky and leave all of the rigging, the ship's rigging, the ropes and lines and masts. It's almost impossible to automatically remove the background and leave those items there. So the only way to do it is to enlarge the image, which is what I've done already. I've got the image up there and work on it in sections. And you work on it with the eraser brush tool and background erase. But be careful because that's a big circle. It's actually 64 pixels. I reduce it down to three for general work and two for really close work, not 32, sorry. Let's make it two and okay. And the flow, because I don't want it overpowering the image. Uh, I want to make that 50. Opacity is 100%, that's all right. Hardness zero, that's okay. And I'm using an Apple Pencil, by the way. I, I suspect this would be impossible with anything other than an Apple Pencil. And I might add that my eyesight is rubbish as well. But you can see there where I'm touching. And as I go around there, I'm removing the color along one piece of 
one piece of rope just there that's in a kind of a loop. Getting rid of all of the spots in the middle there. There we go. Don't worry about the big blue circle. That's that's the show touch um, option of the app. Remember, I'm down here. I'm only two pixels wide. Now, I'll just do this a little bit here. Now you can see why this is going to take hours and hours. Now I can bring that up to three, pixel width of three. That gives me a little bit more control over that there. I can take out that there because that's not a piece of rope. Now if I'm at all uncertain of how close I'm getting, just go back to the move tool and I can enlarge that quite a bit more. Of course the more you enlarge it, the re relatively the easier it is to see. Three pixels, 50% flow. And that moves all that out of there. And you can see it leaves little smudges in there. Those those smudges, once you get the that coloured, or the background I'm using anyway, once you get that background in there, those smudges will hardly be noticeable. But if I were to put this image on a white background, you'll see those smudges immediately. And you can see... Now it's possible to work your way down each rope strand and take out the background. Now it's going to take me quite a long time to do that and I don't expect you to sit there while I'm doing it. I'll just go back to the view tool and pull that in. And you can see the work I've done so far, mostly over the right hand side here. So I've still got a long way to go. There's all of that fine detail in there behind all those ropes and ladders. So this is going to take me hours and hours. But that's all right. When it's finished, I'll come back, show you the finished product, um, put it into the other image. You'll notice, if you haven't already, that this image is separated, the one I'm working on, this one here, is separated out from the other images so I can work on it alone without accidentally destroying or moving or modifying the other images. That one there, you can see the layers. I can simply paste it back into there. It's exactly the same size, it's exactly the same image, but with all that background removed, you'll be able to, that blue background that's there, you'll be able to see the night sky or the starry sky, the galaxies behind it. Now I'll just save that to make sure it's just in case anything's been altered. And while I'm at it, I'll save that one there just in case anything's been altered. And I'll go back to working on that one momentarily. Now we've got mm, one, two, three, four, five images um, on screen there from the ones we've been working on and there's quite a few more that I keep backing up in the in the folders but we won't worry about those I got as far as the first one here and you can see I've removed the background from the rigging and then I cut this bit out I was working on this because I wanted to um, change the mode of this to multiply to try and make the rigging 
just a little darker and to move the move the blue halo from around all the rigging ropes. Now, one of the things that happens with the multiply um, option for a layer is that it darkens the layer. Um, and this can cause a few issues. Now, if you see the second and the third image there, you can see the second one, which is this one here. It's got a blue halo on the rigging, whereas this one is not quite so much. This is the one of the original parts I did, and you can see the blue halo on the rigging, which is really not that bad. It does lend a little bit of... Hmm, mystery to the image so i'm fairly i'm fairly happy with that image actually now this one here well let me come back to this one a moment and i'll show you the you can see the layers i'm working with in there there's only one two three layers that that are actually displayed and that's the background gone and back in that's that's the the uh, the galaxy scape, if you like. Now, this one here is uh, another version, and I'm not quite happy with this one because you can see the galaxy scene that's in the background um, actually is actually overlaying the image itself, and I'm not really happy about that. There's there's the image. And you can see when I put that back in, the galaxy is reflected in the water there and the earth instead of the moon. There's just something about that image that's not quite right. And this, of course, is the, the earth on its own, and that, that's used to replace. And there's the fantasy landscape. That was the original one I did. Now that's not too bad because it doesn't have the halo around the ship's mast and there's only a couple of layers, the pixel layer and the background layer. That's the original blue sky one of course. That's before and there's the original, that's the original image. Now what I did was take out the blue sky background by using the erase, erase brush tool and background erase. But of course, I'm not gonna go through that now. So I've still got the original image if you like, and it's ended up out of these ones. Now there are other ones that I put um, in the folders to save them. Um, and I'll keep looking at them because I'm, I'm actually, I'm not happy with that one. The, the, uh, the galaxy image in the background because I had to lighten it up considerably because using, using the uh, multiply effect on the rigging part, which I put in there somewhere now I had to bring up the brightness and contrast. You can see it's that's probably far too big. Let me see if I can, because it's on the wrong side of those other images. Ah, oh, wrong one. I picked the wrong one. because what I actually want is that one there. But that doesn't work out so well, you see. So if we put the ship back in, the ship's on the wrong side of it. Now, if I want the blue sea, you can see there's the, you can clearly see the blue of the rigging there against the rigging of that one, which is in a multiply effect. Now I'll deal with that later. But you can see the difficulty in taking the background away from something as fine a detail as that. 
you really and there's the multiply effect through there not quite so not quite so distinct I could take the rigging out of this one select it and delete it and then just put that rigging back over it and that will work Nah, but I'll do it later <clears throat> for now to end off this little exercise if you want to remove the background from your image using the background erase now the brush that I used on that obviously was very fine detailed two or three pixels and the flow 50% because you don't want to be blanking everything out um, suddenly I have oh yeah I don't want to bring any more up import from cloud and you can see there's quite a few quite a few versions there and you can see okay there, let's have a look at background erase by hand copy four and you can see there how I've been working around the rigging <coughs> excuse me with the brush to take the rigging to take the work out now there's hours and hours of work there so don't rush it take your time and you'll do a good job